Alright, so welcome back to the last lecture of the summer session. So what I want to do is just kind of bring it all together. So throughout this course, I've emphasized original primary research. I haven't given you specific uh, primary texts to study, but I have invited you to go search on your own. And part of this is because if we're talking about popular culture, it's the sphere of culture that's always changing and always creating new things and sending new messages and very, becoming very adaptable to the cultural moment. So by emphasizing original primary research, I wanted to, number one, emphasize that Asian Pacific American and U.S. Latina and Latino popular cultures are not things that are frozen in time, but are things that are constantly developing even right now. Also, I wanted to emphasize that popular culture is a serious field of study that can tell us a lot about the things that have become internalized as norms, the images that come to predominate representations, and thinking about, on the very basic level, everyday life. We've talked about many different uh, popular culture forms and issues. We began with talking about print and visual representation. We moved on to talking about television and celebrity, material culture and material practices, music performance, music institutions and the music industry, and finally, performance as this multivalent thing. So by talking about these different forms and these different communities, you've also received an introduction to cultural theory. I mean, if you take American Studies 203, you will get some of the same thing. If you, get if you take an upper level course in popular culture, either with uh, communications or with American Studies, you'll find that a lot of these same ideas recur because this has not just been about talking about yellow and brown people. This has also been thinking very analytically and critically through the theoretical tools that scholars have used to understand better the dynamics of popular culture. This also hopefully has given you a brief introduction to Asian American studies and U.S. Latina Latino studies. Both of those exist as minors on this campus, and if you found this interesting, most definitely go pursue those because they're always welcoming to students and it's a great way of thinking about participating in these communities, learning more about these communities. We've talked about issues of identity, pan-ethnicity, race, ethnicity, nationalism. We've also started to brush the surface of intersectionality and talking about multiple modes of difference interacting all at once. We've talked about the real contents of Asian Pacific American and U.S. Latina Latino popular cultures. But we've also thought about some of the contours and the shapes. We've thought about individual ethnic traditions, as well as pan-ethnic traditions, as well as US-specific type of traditions that, ex that arise in terms of the forms of nationalism and xenophobia that Asian Pacific Americans and US Latinas and Latinos have encountered since the 1600s. This also has been a course in American studies, first and foremost. As we talk about in American studies, on the one hand, this course very much has been about the axes of identity and difference, the cultural constructions and the social construction that comes to shape the ways in which we apprehend each other as being the same or as being radically different and the implications for that in terms of coexistence. On the other hand, we've also talked about the cultures of everyday life. Yes, you probably would have gotten a much better version of Asian American critique or Latinidad had you engaged a course on the documentary or on canonical novels. But if we're thinking realistically, these are not the kind of texts of everyday life. So by thinking about popular culture, we're coming very much in touch with those everyday meanings that are so mundane and unexceptional, but nonetheless are the stuff through which we come to create our own life worlds. And finally, the reason why we've talked about Asian Pacific American and U.S. Latinas and Latinos together is to begin engaging a politics of comparison. There is something very important about an Asian American Studies class or U.S. Latina Latino Studies class or an African American Studies class, all of which focus on individual modes that have entered the U.S. public sphere in very different ways. But by talking about different groups together, we can see the shared issues that come to characterize the everyday lives and popular cultures of these two specific racial groups as a way of thinking about coexistence, real diversity, not just a shallow diversity, and what it means to exist in the U.S. today. So I hope you had a great time. I really learned a lot from you. I've drawn this chart on the board just to remind us, think about all the things you've written about and all the things you've researched, and start to think about and plotting them on this chart that moves between the politics of everyday life, the regular money-making strategies that happen through culture, 
the feelings, emotions, pleasures, displeasures, and anger that arise as a result of encountering popular culture. And the sensory representations, the visual forms, the uh, genres that you encounter as part of the aesthetic that we come to internalize as our own expectations of popular culture. All right, so have a great rest of the summer, and see you later.